Okay, so Jurassic mud, Jurassic, Jurassic craft mud. How do you get it out of the Well, I'm going to show you. From digging it out of the damn cave, which you're going to need a pickaxe. I hope you got one, because you're going to need one, like this one right here. Um, you're going to need to first get some dips, and, which looks just like this. And when you mine it, that's what it looks like. When you mine it, you'll get this. This is powder. Crimson powder. All right. Mine it like that. Bam. You get the powder. Okay. Next, we're going to need paper. Okay. So, the way I get paper is... There ain't nothing going to kill me while I'm doing this. I don't see nothing. Okay. Um, let me see the cane. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can even get paper from rice. Uh, always just get it from sugar cane. Sugar cane's easy. Easy to find, easy to grow. It grows fast. Doesn't take that long. Multiplies. Pretty good. So, depending on how much, how many fossils you're going to be mining, as to how much paper and Gibson you will, will need. I don't even think I'm saying it right. Probably not. I don't care though. Um, so we're going to use this to... We're going to run back in here to our crafting table. Feeling something's following me. And then we're going to make paper. All right, we got 15 paper now, and I have already mined some of this good crap right here. Okay, you're also going to need a wool. Walk up on me like that, buddy. You almost got hit with the sword again. I think I hit you last time. No, your health is full. Almost killed your buddy. You're going to need one block of wool. And, um, the hell is that big thing? Oh, damn. I don't want nothing to do with that. Uh, lived in a very bad place, as you can tell by the razor wire around the top of the house. Uh, uh, hope you don't mind being in here, dude. Or you're going to learn how to open the door one or the other. Oh, we need more. Um... You can make wool from string, or you can find you some sheep. Whatever you prefer. I don't have enough string. Do I? Oh, excuse me. You're blocking the crafting table. I got to get over here. Thank you. I think you have to fill the thing up with string, but maybe not. No, you don't. Okay. One block of wool right there. Four string, one block of wood. We're... Block of wool. We're good. Next, you will take your wool, put that in the middle, take your paper, put it on the outside, four pieces. Take your, your gray crap, put it on the sides, four things, and it'll give you... Doo -doo 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 nine plaster and bandages. Okay. So, now that we got all that, that's extras. Better watch out there, bud. Yeah, I see how it is. You run out and try to let them in. You can't fit through the door at the same time. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to hell now. Killed the priest. And, oh, I got his head. Hold on. Oh, the other head ain't there anymore. It must have disappeared. I had one laying on the bed. We'll stick it right there for now. Thank you, I need another head. Oh, are you friendly? No, you're not. Okay, next, then you're going to want to find your cave. 
They building shit out here again, ain't they? And you're gonna have to hunt for some fossils. And that's just where you're gonna need your pickaxe, obviously. So they can be hard to find sometimes, and then other times they can't be. But this is what they look like, and they'll be different shades. Take your gifts and put it on there. Bam! Click on your fossil. Oh. Oh. Okay, we'll go ahead and mine a little bit more over here. And see what happens. For some reason, you should be able to do that, Dean. Then... Ow. Chunk of dirt just fell on me head. Where the hell? It wasn't either on there. Oh well, that's okay. That's no big deal. Anyways, you'll click on your... I'll show you inside the house. I'll have to grab another fossil. But anyways, that's what that looked like inside the cave. You're ring the butt around, okay. Give me a second so I can learn how to spell again. Okay. What the fuck? What the hell's going on here? Okay, well, it said I had some, but apparently not. Anyways, they'll look like that. They'll look like this right here. Oh, God. I know. Oh, shut up. Why ain't it working? I'll take care of it. Okay, they okay, I don't, they screwed up. We don't want all those. Okay, so you'll take your, fuck me, I don't want that. Anyway. You'll take your uh, fossil and your Gibson. You'll put that on there. That's what it'll look like, right? I mean, your plaster and bandages. Okay. And then you'll be able to mine it. Like that. You'll get a block of it. Bam. So, then you'll take that block. Let me try something. Okay, it's working now. Let me take care of this dude, because he's not going to shut up. He'll just sit out there and moan. Is there another one? Oh. Okay, then you're going to need your machines. The first thing you're going to need is a fossil grinder, which is this one right here. That's a fossil grinder. And it looks like um, you, where the hell did it go? 
looks right here. Fossil grinder. Before you craft it, you're gonna need a piston, two redstone, an iron rod, iron blades, two two lips, and two iron ingots, and two redstone. Did I say redstone already? I think I did. Anyway, what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna take your um encased fossils and you're gonna put them in here. Okay, then down here you're gonna have to have some water. You'll have to have buckets of water. Now, as far as I know, there's no way to pipe water to it. So you have to use buskets. So I would suggest that you be close to a water source. A uh, reusable water source. A renewable, I guess you can call it. Because they usually take one bucket of water per... per uh, no, I lied. I guess not. It's going to make me an ass. Okay, I got more fossils here somewhere. Right here there is. Get some of this crap out of the way here. the hell is that? Oh, another head. Okay. Oh. No. Not what I wanted. Oh, come on. Really? Shit. Oh, uncrafting tables up there. Okay, so you're going to take your fossils, put them in there. And you're going to get bones. We got a pelvis bone there. We got a neck vertebrae. Okay, you're going to take your bones. Once you get your bones, you're going to take them to what is called the. Uh, Fossil grinder, which is, where is it, that's cleaning station, oh, cleaning stations first, I'm sorry, then fossil grinder, so this is the cleaning station here, then you're going to need a fossil grinder, which is this thing, then you just take your bones, put it in there, they don't require any power, this one requires uh, water. To run now the other one some do require some dna strands like that uh, we will have to have test tubes a syringe and a petri disc dish and you're also going to want some blank uh data discs you can store your dna on them okay so we got two bone mill and a flint we can't do nothing with that so we're going to go through here again And we'll just throw these bones in there. Mm -hmm. Let me empty some of this crap out of here. Like that, 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 that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we just got more bone and more flint. Now this process could take a while. There's no, uh, there's no certain, you know, ones that will give you a piece of tissue. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some tissue so we can get some DNA off of it. And we got nothing. So what you'd have to do is... Go down and mine some more, or get some more fossils, encase them, bring them back up here. And for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to 
quickly grab some and put them in here. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to probably, well, we should be able to get at least one piece of tissue out of all these buckets of water. So we should be good there, hopefully. Should be. So we wait. And to turn the daylight cycle off in the daytime, so make it daytime. Otherwise, they'll have freaking the whole house bricked in. Trying to get inside here. Damn, we need more. I thought that'd put out enough light, but well, I guess we walked inside, so it didn't make it a little bit darker. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Um. Okay, we'll take these bones and we'll throw them in the fossil grinder. Or fossils, I guess, is what they are, really. Not really considered bone, I don't. I wouldn't think. Could be. I don't really know. <laughs> okay, so we got a piece of tissue. That's what we need right there. See, that's soft tissue. That's what we want. Okay. And we still got it going. We'll just throw these in there too. Okay, we're going to take our piece of soft, soft tissue next. And we're going to go to the DNA synchronizer. Okay, this is the next step. This is when you're going to need the blank uh, storage disk. And to make one of those, what did I just... to make one of those, is pretty simple iron nugget and a basic circuit. Um, basic circuit, iron nuggets, gold nuggets, piece of redstone. Pretty simple to get, not too bad to get two out of it, so that's, I'd say, a pretty good deal. After you get your DNA synchronizer made, you're going to take and put your blank data disk in the second slot. You're going to take your tissue. Put it in the first slot. You'll see this start to go real slow. This part goes and just takes forever. But after it gets done, the data disk will go from here to here, and then you'll have um, some DNA on that. Okay, we gotta get 100% DNA. So not all data disks give a lot of DNA. Some only give 10%. Some give 30%. Some give 80%, 90%. So you know, random. So, you'll probably have to have more than one data disk. I would say at least make three to start off with. Um, more would be better. But three, you should be able to get enough, 100% out of three. All that fossils, that's all like 20-something fossils. We got two, only two pieces of uh, soft tissue that we can pull DNA from. So, we'll take that and put that there. Put a disc down here, and then this will start too. You can have up three going at a time. We got more machines, then you can get more going, of course. I mean, doesn't affect it, did he? Okay, after we get the disc made, we're going to need the um, DNA extractor right here. Okay, and this right here is the one where you'll need the glass uh, vial. Or Tubes, what they call it, I guess. Here, wait, no, huh? That's wrong. No one has to go there. Hold on, that's a disc combiner. That's the egg injector, embryo injector. Okay, yep, this is the next step. Um, 
No, it's not. We don't need to use this. We don't have to use this machine. This machine would be for if you was doing something that didn't lay, that gave live birth instead of laying eggs, like uh, the water dinosaurs or the um, plants. You could do that DNA out of here too. Okay. So that machine basically is the same as this one, but instead of discs, man, I don't know if that's right or not. I'm just, okay. Yeah, you put your discs in here and then you'll put your other DNA. Say so you got like, um, um, Let me see. Mm -hmm. Right here. The Gilly, Gil, Gilly o Mamas. Is it? Mm -hmm. For some reason, I'm thinking this is one. This is the one that's water swims around. Um. Show that in there and see. Okay, as you see, our data discs are done. DNA quality 5%. This one's mm -hmm. DNA quality 30. So we don't even have enough now to get, um, to even really do anything with. So we'll take these to the combiner. I'll, we'll just go ahead and combine them together. It's going to give us 35. The combined disc will be at the bottom here. So what you do then is you'd go back over here to the um you'd go back out, you'd mine you some more fossils, getting closed fossils. You'd come back in here to your cleaning station until you get enough. You just keep doing this until you get a hundred percent. You need a disc with a hundred percent before you can really do anything. So, Um, oh, right here, fossilized eggs. I think that's what you use this for. And yeah, maybe not. I don't really know what the hell it's for. I haven't ever used it. Look it up on the wiki, I'm sure it says. I apologize because I don't know, but I, I don't know. But basically, this is basic, you know, regular DNA dino creation process whatever the f that you want to call the damn thing so we'll take the bones back over to the grinder hope we get another piece of tissue yep right there's another piece of tissue go ahead and throw it in here real fast get that going because it takes a that right there, put it on the data disk, and the incubator takes the longest. This takes a lot longer than that. Okay, let me grab me a couple more disks here. So we've got two more pieces of tissue. That's good. We should be able to do it now. Wait a second. I think I might have screwed up. I don't even think this is the same dinosaurs. These are. No, okay, yeah, there we go. Some reason I think is that there was the, the bronchiolia sources. Oh, fuck, I can't see. Can't talk. Okay, so instead of having to screw around this water here, since it's slowing us down, just for the purposes of the video.
This is what I usually do. I mean, I do take this. I'd have a pump down by the water to fill up these barrels, and I'd just bring the barrel up here. That barrel will hold a lot of water. But because we're recording, we're just going to fill it up this way. Well, I said he's going to. Give me water, regular water, right here. These things are a lot easier in buckets, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you can put these in here. I think I've tried it once and, and they won't, it doesn't accept cells. No. Now you see, we got 65,000 buckets of water right there in that little thing. Go back into survival, and you can move them around by using your pickaxe. Well, just make sure you're in survival, not in creative, because it will disappear if you go to creative. You son of a chicken. We're just not even going to talk about that. I ain't got a clue what the hell's going on with the fucking game, man. It's pissing me off, though. Really pissing me off. <laughs> okay, we got another piece of DNA here. Those data disks are done. Let's see, that's the empty one there. We'll go ahead and put that back in there. Okay. Now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that data disk right there is 85%. That's almost 100. That one right there is 80% DNA quality. That right there is 70. So what we'll do is, this one in here is, we'll go ahead and put the 80 up here. We'll take the 35, put it there, and that will give us a 100% DNA data quality. And that's what we need. Then we will, where can I shove it? Bend over, easy. Um, I talked to myself a lot. Uh, it's okay, I'm used to it. What do I got in there? Oh, that's a generator. Bitch, you better not be tearing up my house. Oh, look. I blocked the freaking door in again, man. What was I looking for? Oh, storage. I thought I had some. I guess not. Okay. Not net. Thank you. Where is my fucking wood, man? Come on. Seriously. Really? Give me the wood. That happens to me all the damn time. Like I put it in the inventory and it's, I stuck it on the bottom. Climb my butt back up here. What are they doing? Building out. They didn't make it all the way to the door, did they? I know they didn't get up there. There's barbed wire around the whole place. Um, focus back to what we was doing. Can I shove this? No, shut up.
Give me my strap back. Good enough for now. Hell, I don't need to it. We throw all this crap in there. Actually, we don't need any more of those. We got 100% damage. So I'm just going to throw the rest of this in there. Then you do this, just repeat the same process with whatever dinosaurs you want. They're basically the same. Minus the select few that used that other damn thing that I didn't figure to do yet. Um, data disk. 100% quality right there. Okay. Once we get 100% quality data disk, we're going to take that over to our DNA synchronizer. We're going to take our data disk, put that in the top slot. We're going to take an empty valve, put that in the bottom slot. Or test tube, put that in the bottom slot. Okay, so here, this is, um, what we're going to do is, I'll show you how to make that stuff. Um, you're going to need a glass bottle, like this right here, right? Take your glass bottle, put water in it. Here, that thing back up here, now you will need a forge. I got one right here. Take that glass bottle of water, put it in the forge, or the furnace, whatever one you want to call it. And it'll give you your DNA nucleus. And that's what you need. Okay, you mix that with an empty uh, test tube in a data disk, and that will produce you a val uh, test tube of dino DNA. Now, the storage disk can be reused. There's no limited uh, number of times. So, you can use them however much you want to. Okay, next you're going to need a syringe. This right here. It's easy. Test tube. Uh, four iron nuggets. Test tube is just two pieces of regular uh, blocks of glass. Okay, there we go. Uh, our disc is still good. Still can use the thing. So I usually make like a shelf or something to put the discs on or throw them in a chest or whatever. We're going to take this, our DNA, test tube of DNA. We're going to take a syringe. And then we're going to go over here to the D, nope. We're going to go over here to the embryo. Nope. Shit. Skip the step. Right here. The embryo machine. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to take your DNA in there, put your syringe in there, and uh, oh, your petri dish. Okay, and that will give you a syringe full of DNA. Now I'm pretty sure you probably know what the next step is. Over here to the egg machine. The embryo class calcification machine diation crap. Now you're gonna need an egg to use that. And I just happen to have an egg. Right here. Regular chicken egg. All you need. Okay. Take that chicken egg, put it in the bottom slot there, the one that looks like an egg. Grab your syringe of your DNA. Take it over here, put it in the top slot. Bam, it'll be working. And it's injecting the crap into the egg. Walla bing, walla boom. Dino egg. Now, we're going to take our dino egg and we're going to put it in here. Okay. Also, it's handy to have a little bit of peat moss. Where's it at? Right here. Put that in here and that'll help your egg hatch faster. Or like a bedding. 
Okay, in the incubator, this little bar right here, as you can see, you got yellow here, orange in the middle, red on this end. Okay, now all the way in the red, that's going to be a male. All the way in the yellow, that is going to be a female. I know. I usually just put it in the middle, random, whatever, in between. It could be male and female. But that's how you. This English, that's how you get whether you want male or female by via that little slider. And now we gotta wait until that bar gets full, which takes like 14 billion years. So we'll come back in about like five minutes or so. <laughs> Real life minutes.